Hello tubers, I'm going to make this video for you for all those Mopar lovers out there. I'm a Mopar lover. I've had Mopars all my life. I've had a few Chevys, one Ford in my life, but I always went back to the Mopar. I'm going to show you the old and the new. This is the 1978. That one up there is the 2004. We bought that truck up there new in 04. I did not buy this truck new in 78. I'm actually the third owner of the truck. It's not really in bad shape for 31 years old. It has a little rust on it. Try to zoom in just a tad bit. Just a little rust here and there on it. Nothing radical. Got the power wagon emblem on the hood. Runs like a champ. Filthy. It is roadworthy, although I don't drive it on the road. I haven't had it on the road in I think three years. It's not too bad. And of course, once again, the O4. Well, I popped the hood on them both. There it is, 318 carbureted, two barrel. This engine's original. I replaced all the electrical on it. Uh, wires, spark plug wires, coil, electronic pickup. The only thing I did place, replace on it new is that little prick back there, that brain box. Right back in there. That was giving me such a problem. I went over and over and over this truck, and it was that prick there. Sometimes it would start, and sometimes it wouldn't. Those run you about 125 bucks new. I was lucky. I found one in a junkyard. And of course, you got the Hemi 5.7. Yeah, that one has way more power than that one's got. But gear-wise, can't beat that 78. That thing will squat down and pull like you would not believe. Well, I left it warm up a little. There it is. Turn like a kitten. Not a bad sounding motor for 31 years old. Rolling off the assembly line, and I think it's September of 78. Can't complain. Now, one of these days, I got to get the old GMC motor home started. But that about five, no, uh, seven years ago. But when gas prices went through the roof, that was the end of the camping at eight miles a gallon. Can't afford it at 250, 260 a gallon. Thanks for watching my videos.